Hi everyone, this is Munaiki Media, Munaiki Chandler. Thank you so much for tuning back into another one of my videos. Uh, I was thinking lately about what kind of video should I make. Yes, I have some other videos left to do about um, many artists, but this one felt particularly uh, necessary. I, I felt that I wanted to do a reading for BTS, military service experience. So I want to do a reading for all of them. If you're asking about how, it, the, how is their time, um being used so how are they feeling right now currently okay we're gonna do this reading for all the members it's gonna be a short reading but we're gonna try to see and check what's going on okay we're gonna go we're gonna go from the oldest and then to the youngest so let's go for a bts jeans military service experience all right jean kim sok jean what's going on in the military how are you feeling <clears throat> Oh, okay. He's just vibing. Uh, even though I see a lot of source here, I feel that, yes, he could do better. He could be in a better place. He could be in a more comfortable bed. Maybe he's m even missing, like, his household, everything that uh, he had. Sometimes he want to uh, grab a snack and he can't. I and mean, sometimes he want to see certain people and he's, like, kind of tired that uh, he can't. So I think that he's kind of, like, writing re letters or whatever he wants to say to anyone. He's, like, uh, m making sure that he is... Uh, uh, recording it or like saving it someplace okay I think he's the kind of person who, who takes uh, photos or like uh, see um, something that he likes and he takes uh, a photo for memory photo so he can like uh, preserve it and maybe show it to others that might be interested even the fans in the future okay I think he's really caring about the the, the fans as well that like he's uh, wanting to kind of give them something back and he's trying to come up with an idea idea of a song or something that he can give back when he's uh, back so uh he might be preparing for a tour like i had i feel like he's tired not just because of the military service because he wants to program something good once he's back because he knows he's back this year uh in a few months from now and so he wants to like figure out what's gonna happen like what's he gonna bring to the table what's everyone everyone wants to see something from him so he's is thinking of ideas this is what i'm feeling from him all right and um yeah i think he considers the fans he considers his family his friends and i think he's receiving some visitations or like um People that are like giving him something, some presents to him, something that he needs. And I think he's very well taken care of. I think he's mm, getting to know more people and um, he's changed in a way that he's adapting himself to new circumstances. I have something about children with this card. I don't know if he's, he's got a sister or like a nephew, a niece. Um, that went to visit that's very lovely for him i think um sometimes he thinks about his uh, small fans even on little the little ones so i think that's his um what he's thinking at the moment um but yeah in general i feel that um he also is thinking about maybe business plans for the future or so he's thinking about so many things at the time yeah um maybe even offers for him to work in something but he's not confident enough to like maybe uh he's thinking about which brand will be really good for him like he's considering all the um offers okay yeah um yeah, maybe he's programming something, but he thinks that he will need like a bigger budget. And so he's trying to get it all together because maybe he will have to like uh, sponsor, like uh, work with more sponsors for, uh, in order for him to do exactly what he needs to come back with. Even though he's, uh, of course, very wealthy and he's, he got all the means, he's got all the means still what he wants, needs some like organization and some like, yeah, um, Something that he's uh, trying to keep his mind very focused on, right? Um, yeah, something else that might be happiness that sometimes, um, 
he's got so many ideas, the songs that he wants to present or the kind of music that he wants to work with. But he's trying to figure it out. He doesn't know what to expect. I don't, he doesn't know what his fans are expecting. He will want to connect more directly with his fans. He wants to have a chat. He wants to know what everyone's thinking. So he will be more in touch with what he will want to create for them. All right. But yeah, I think little by little he will. Uh, there's kind of like, this is what I feel like a military mindset that he needed to focus on for a while. And so detach himself from that part of him will be something that sometimes gets, gets him way too much. All right, this card is wanting to come out for a while, so um, I just think it's thinking about many situations that have happened while he was serving. Um, everything I think sometimes he gets even emotional, right? He gets very thoughtful about everything, about everyone. It's everything he has put everything in perspective. Maybe even uh, people in need. He's been thinking about families, about children, about people in general, and he will want to contribute more to society because of this. All right, let's see what words we got. We get from like Osho for Kim Sok Jin for BTS. Oh, say down what we have the ray. Um, yeah, he was, uh, he may have been overworking, maybe he was doing more than he should have, and he sometimes felt like, oh, it's taken, um, it's told. Um, but he will gladly, he will gladly, um, come out, out of the, um, overworking himself. I think he sometimes was keeping himself busy in order to not think. So that was something that he needs to balance in general. That sometimes he felt that he needed to do more. Uh, and sometimes that was like a really tiring. So yeah, um, I think he's going to do his best to uh, or reorganize himself in how he acts in the military side of this and not to overdo it, okay? Because it can be really tiring, tiring for him. Okay, the words we have is Ray, little by little, mind, uh, repressed, consciousness. Yeah. For a while, he was more in like the physical, like uh, survival kind of like mode. And like the intellectual part of him is wanting to like... Uh, come back make a comeback and he's like oh i need to get it together i need to kind of like make um an ideal picture of all of this so it doesn't impact me negatively because i'm a smart person but i need to like also operate in ways that are more physical so i'm like kind of to trying to get together um but yeah people also so people other people that are um I don't know if, if this is others. This is other people that wants to work with him. Maybe he's in charge of many people. Sometimes he feels that he needs to keep a watch of, on everyone that he works with. That's kind of tiring at times because he needs to keep his mind and many things at the same time. So we're going to check with this um, Oracle card. Then we're going to go for the next member, which is Min Yungi. Okay. What's the card that wants to come up for Kim Sok Jin? I'm going to try to make it brief, more brief for the other members because I don't want this to be so long because the editing is just takes a long time. Um, actually, I'm thinking about doing my readings in Spanish because sometimes I, I keep stopping the video because I don't come up with the right word. So, yeah, I'm going to think about it later. Okay, we have victim. So, he may have had some, like, uh, situation with someone. I don't know. He, he was focusing on, on people that were not feeling so well. I think he was giving them, trying to help them out. Trying to keep them their minds 
VC uh, um, in other things, all right? We have perfection. We have prayer, which is like focusing on something that you want. Um, yes, I think his mind is turning into something. He's kind of like remembering what it feels like to be outside. So that will it will take some time to reacclimate to that. All right, but there are great, great opportunities for him to work with later. Yes, he's thinking about work. All right, not only um, the brand, the, the brands that he's going to work with, but insights where he is. Like he's thinking about everything. He needs to keep it together, and I think he's been a gift for everyone that he's that has met him. And so sometimes it's very tiring for him because he wants to give his best. But yeah. Um, He's doing everything he can. So we're going to go for the next member, which is Ming Jungi. All right. We're going to go for the next member, which is Ming Jungi. Let's see. Ming Jungi, how is everything? What's what's in your mind? How are you doing at the moment in the military service? All right. We have the hangman. We have, I feel that. Um, he's being careful. He's taking care of himself. He sometimes feels that he can do more than he can. Oh, I don't know if I already made this reading. I don't think I... <laughs> sometimes I do readings for the, 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 the BTS members and I don't, like, I don't film it. Because I really want to see how, what's going on in their lives. But yes, I did a reading before even he served in the military that he wouldn't be, like... Um, doing so many physical things because he needs to take care of himself. Um, I do feel like he worry about the other members. I, I feel that he worry about even his own well-being. And so he's mindful. He's very careful. He's like knows that he every step that he takes, that he makes is like um, something that he needs to be very uh, worried of what he's doing. Also, I feel that he's taking care of people that are... Um, maybe are on his watch but there's someone that he cares about that may have not been feeling that well and sometimes he feels that that's pressuring that feels that it's like a little bit i don't know i feel like i feel so many thoughts in his mind right now that he gets overwhelmed but everything everyone this is a new thing he never thought that to ever like everything i feel that some i don't know so many people are around him and sometimes he kind of feels the energy of others because he's very kind of like sensitive and empathetic and he kind of knows even before they say something to him he kind of knows what's going on so he, that's being pressuring that's being something that he's having to deal with and he kind of like i feel that he's giving words of encouragement to everyone who sees him as some kind of like faith hope He's wanted to give that to everyone. But sometimes he's not at in, in the moment. He's not at, in the move at times. But I feel that that's something that um, will really mark uh, his soul, his persona, his entire um, identity. And I think so many things are going to come out of it. Even if he will work with the people that he's getting to meet, even if he likes take this into something, into the music industry, I don't know. But this is really impacting him quite strongly. Um, I also feel that, uh, well, sometimes he feels irritated that he cannot see someone in particular. I think there's someone that misses him. Uh, okay, um, that's kind of like he takes the blame. But, yeah, I think he's trying to make peace with all of this, okay? It's not easy for him. Um, he sometimes just, he just wants to rest. <laughs> and, and this is something <clears throat> something about him. Some people even make fans about the fact that he so, likes to sleep a lot. He does this because he needs to renew his energy constantly. It helps him to actually gain traction in this reality because reality is kind of like, kind of like more dense that um, um, it has an impact on him and, and sometimes he is not that 
he's not allowed to do this in the military service. So sometimes that takes the best of him, of him. But even though this is very difficult for him, I think that when he wakes up, he does his best. He's like someone who everyone listens to, someone who is always doing something for everyone else. He's like uh, even, I don't know, in charge leader and people wants to know from him they want to uh have him in higher positions because he's uh i don't know he'll be successful even here because his mentality his wisdom his openness to to see more to see the young to to help more to do th things is really what moves him and, and i think he will eventually get a lot from him from this experience i think he will feel very um i don't know with, re reborn <laughs> reverted re <laughs> re um integrated i, I feel that he's, this is like he's he's coming new out of all of this uh, even the people in high positions, I feel that they will want to see him, work with him, even after all of this happens. I don't know. I, I feel that a lot of great things coming from all this, that he will want to work with the people there. Um, everything is coming in a really great pace Him, for him, even after all the um, not that um controllable events that have been happening for him we have conclusion we have a game or play um mind yeah i think he's like writing something in really he's like even uh, doing a contest from people that do raps and they are like all playing with it like they are making words plays and they are all like uh <laughs> This is like a show, I feel. And it was like, hey, Suga, I mean, Min Jung <laughs> I wrote this. And they are all listening to each other. And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I feel that every thing, single thing that he's listening, he's hearing from every one of them, he's taking notes. He's like, he's going to make music out of this, out of all of what everyone else has said. But this is really beautiful. I feel that he will have voice when he's a father and he will just remember this time and I kind of feel emotional just saying it but he, this will be how he prepares for, for when he's a father for when he takes care of his own children and he will do it gladly and he's just my, his mind is just changing look at this this is rebirth he's just growing so I'm so happy for him because I feel that so many things are like taking a new value for him. And like he's constantly cooperating. That's what I'm feeling as well. All right. We're going to pull some cards from this. Wow. Dedication. We have um, distraction. I feel that um, in the past. He feels just like distracting himself, like falling asleep, like doing anything to not feel like um, out of peace. But now he feels like giving others is the way. And I think this was like, this is helping him. All right. We have recovery. We have destiny. This was meant to be. He really wanted to experience this. This is life because this, this is gonna get something amazing. The key to give moral value to life. This is what I'm feeling for him. It's so deep, but it's exactly what I'm hearing, what I'm feeling for him. Okay. Um, I think he will want to change. I don't know. He he's gonna because this is impacting him. He's gonna be a very of much impact to this as well to the military service and people in general. <laughs> So I'm very happy for him. We're going to go for the next member, which is uh, J-Hope. Let's go. So we're going to go for J-Hope's reading. What's going on with J-Hope? Is he right? Are you doing right? John Hosok from BTS. How is your experience going? In the military service. 
what's going on with you oh wow yes lovely he's very um sympathetic and he's um working always he's kind of like the office kind of person um he wants to like order he wants to give life to the place where he is um yeah i feel that this is the energy that before he entering into the place he was like I, he had no clue what to expect actually and it was like wow i'm gonna start from zero but i guess i'm gonna do this i gotta i gotta get rid of my fears and little by little he just started like working with what he had and um yeah sometimes i feel that he wasn't feeling really well um stomach wise something about the food right um but something that he likes is like working with people younger than him this is the card that came from just so gene but this might have the same meaning that it had for so gene that i feel that he likes uh, improving the life of others right and i think he just remembers how he felt while growing up that sometimes he fell out of place where he was and i think this is a chance to like open broaden other people's eyes into considering who they are to help them like even give them uh, advices like hearing their stories he might be um seeing some people that that have not that it that didn't have it easy in life so yeah um i don't know he might be in even um caring about the, the mentality i mean psychology of other people but look at that children energy i think he's trying to see the, the this whole experience so differently he he wants to take everyone to a new kind of perspective in all this and um I don't know, but he's been very supportive with everyone that he meets. I think he's been having conversations with about presentations in general. Maybe, um, wow, he, he's like the, the spokesperson for maybe even BTS for everyone. And um, he's like giving advices to even this is yes this, this is what i'm feeling not just with like the people that he's surrounded by but everyone in bts the other members i think every time they are in face with something some kind of proposition in the military service i think j-hope is the one who's telling them giving them advices on what they should or shouldn't do all right so he's keeping himself very busy right now Yes, with all of this, I feel that the, the whole idea of the military service is not a, the cup of tea for Jacob. It's not his cup of tea. It doesn't really feel like he can even understand the whole situation. Uh, so he's just working his mind out of it and he's just doing his best to just make his presence be felt by everyone else but he's not gonna change his mind even if he does his best even if he's working he's organizing and he's giving his best it's not like they're gonna um make him see yeah this is a great thing for humanity or something <laughs> that's not gonna happen that's what i'm feeling but still he's cooperating he's doing his best all right um the thing with him is that he always wants to take care of others right and when he feels that he, he can't do it, like taking care of, of people around him, so that he sometimes feel a little bit disappointed by that. Okay, we have beyond the illusion. We have, well, this car is actually undecided and this is past lives, right? Um, yes, he's like kind of like the silver lining. He's looking at the silver lining of things. He might even write a book about this. Like he's having like this is giving him genuine ideas, genius ideas for the future. Um, 
even for like when he does a presentation to the public, this is like the whole picture of what he's seeing is giving him a lot of ideas. Um, but I think that he, sometimes he's just trying to think too hard. Um, yeah, in general, um, maybe he's been asked sometimes to 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 help others to to go some places, maybe to move. I don't know if it, this is even possible, but I feel that he needs to go someplace to help other. Uh, I don't know how you call it, but like you need and like he needs to keep moving, something like that, because they kind of hear him, they kind of feel better when he's around them. So, you know, he's just taking things calmly as they come. But yeah, like this is traveling, and there might be something about him moving to another unit, but yes, he's. Trying to not care about this, but yeah, he's like, I feel like he's going inside. So whatever people say to him, it's like not that impactful on him. Okay, yes, this card is wanting to come out. It's going inside and kind of reflect. I think he, even though he's a very social person and wants to do his best for everyone to. To, to find peace, to find hope. He needs sometimes his time, his peaceful time. And sometimes that's kind of difficult that some people want to be around him all the time. He wants to be the master that he is, but sometimes he needs to be alone. All right? We're going to check with this Oracle card. This says um, lie. This is perseverance. Like, this is what I feel, that... Of course, he wants to be of health. And he's every time he's in front of someone like in power, um, a surgeon or whatever, he's like, yes, very helpful. Look at that, <laughs> this girl. But at the same time, he knows what's going on. He re sees right through them. He kind of read them. So he's being careful with everyone that he meets, right? We have perseverance, soulmates. He might be in touch with people that he considers very important at the moment. This could also be that he's looking forward to seeing someone in, uh, outside the military service that is always going to visit because there was a female energy right here. And this is so many things, but with this, there might be someone that is always taking care of him. That is, um, it could also be like a family member, someone that he cares about, but there's definitely a female energy that is very present in his life so he, he can get uh um strength all right we have recovery we have uh, illumination enlightenment we have instinct we have search talk of the people and uh, relegating really like i said I feel that he's been struggling sometimes with having a, finding a peace of mind because of so many things that are happening and so many people talking, so many, yes, energies. And he's been having dreams even. And he's been finding per, uh, someone who's like advising him, it's someone very wise. And that's what the master also says. I feel that he's the master for others, but he needs a, someone who is like a master for him, like a teacher. And he's constantly finding that person who will help him All right yes so he's doing his best but it's not easy at times to find peace in this place so we're gonna go for the next member which is um rm all right let's go all right you guys we're gonna start now with rm from bts kim nam june i wanted to do this reading it just felt like I wanted to see how are they finding themselves in this situation. Okay. RM. All right. He's a person of virtue, right? He finds 
<laughs> this is what I'm feeling. He finds a lot of complication in every single thing in life. It's not something that he gets accustomed to easily. So he takes little, it takes little by little, little steps for him to actually get the hang of it. Is what I'm feeling. But sometimes he feels preoccupied by so many things. He feels that uh, he needs to kind of like record all the factors. He kind of needs to do a reading of everything that's going on before he even feels comfortable to start something. All right. We have so many uh, uh, cards that are showing his worriness. He's sometimes uh, kind of um have an availability for like everything that's happening i feel that this wouldn't be easy for him it wouldn't be like a, yes, a cup of tea for him it's not something it's it's gonna take some time for him even weeks before he feels comfortable especially because he's missing his own place like even at home i feel that he had some place where he feels that everything's good when he comes down where everything's better i feel that he misses that place and sometimes even i feel that he dreams about everything in life he's very careful he's very caring and so he's trying to gain give his grain of salt he wants to be helpful for everyone but uh he doesn't war he was he doesn't want to force himself into it so it's not gonna be easy for him this whole experience but um I think that at some point <laughs> he will get the hang of it, all right? And um, he would show, he would show his his face, who she, he really is, what life brought him to be, which is like someone with a lot of power in his words. Um, I think he's, he's, this experience will help him in many ways to actually recapture his inner voice, his true essence, his inner wisdom, right? I do feel that he's got some kind of like um, conflicting feelings about this. Yes. Um, but he will always show in, in one way or another house uh, everything what's what's going on um yes what i'm hearing is that he sometimes find uh, he doesn't want to obey um what the others are constantly saying and it's, it's kind of like overwhelming to him right and I do feel that he's had some nightmares while being in this place. Um, he kind of even had like some headaches and like felt uncomfortable. I don't know, even something about his sore throat. Um, and in order to, to get kind of like be feel better, he wants to be more active. He wants to do more things. He wants to be more patient with himself. He's like taking this with honor, actually. He's wanting to like um, no sacrifice any moment in like worrying in worrying or giving a negative uh, feeling or like a, a meaning to all of this. So something about recital i feel he's gonna recite some words about something um he's kind of like talking to people kind of asking them for asking them for recommendations for this experience and um i don't know he's trying to keep himself busy at times doing anything even if something about cleaning something about ordering organizing something like they can think um yeah but he's it's like he does he doesn't want to feel like a kid anymore because maybe at some point he felt that he was weak actually and he wants to come out of that mindset because um i think he's remembering when he was a kid and he didn't feel like he was strong enough or he's he will like give off a strong presence and um I think that now sometimes this ecology is um, of this whole experience is kind of like 
keeping him wanting to keep himself active right let's see with um oshatara deck oh we have oh this is our repetitive cards which is the uh, knight of cups which is trust we have guilt another repetitive card we have the eight this is the this is the eight of swords and we have integration another repetitive card which is temperance so i feel that um this is a very meaningful message. He doesn't feel that good at all, you guys. But he doesn't want to consider anything that was worrying him into the whole situation. He wants to take this opportunity to become better or to give a positive message. To everyone that will be participating in this because you can help he can help no one can help but to keep uh, that system working like that will, system will continue working and so many new people will continue serving and he just wants to be a hopeful voice kind of like see the good kind of beginning junk everything has a dark and a light that's what he wants to do. Of course, he doesn't agree with any of it. But he doesn't want to feel sorrowful and he doesn't want to give that voice to the people that is in the military service. But sometimes that is really tiring. And I, I really disappointed within himself that he kind of needs to see the light in everything. It's difficult for him. He feels sometimes quite the opposite. But he can help by to not let that get to him because it's hard. This is what I'm feeling for him. It is hard. It's not where he finds his voice, it's not where he where he finds his, his true power. It's not where he likes to be. He feels very conditioned. But, um, yeah. We're going to um, check some Oracle cards. Ooh. Right? We have this card that wanted to come out. We have prayer, which is kind of like wanting to focus on a, either one of the two outcomes. Impatience, right? Well, we have dedication, so many cards, confusion, dedication, distraction. There's so many things happening right now. But yeah, he feels that they will there there's a purpose to this. He will give it he will give it purpose. Okay, we have bittersweet, we have joy, we have destiny. So he's working on that. Of finding that light. So this is what I'm feeling for uh, Nam June. So we're going to go for the next member. So thank you everyone for watching this video until the end. I'm doing part two on the other video for the other three members. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you will notify with the next video. Take care. Bye.